Hey guys, welcome to my outdoor adventure channel and my next outdoor gear product review. Okay? Alright, first of all, before I get going here, I do want to apologize to my subscribers uh, and uh, other parties that just regularly watch my videos. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted uh, any videos to my channel here. Um, it's July of 2022 and I've just been an incredibly uh, busy beaver and so I haven't uh, really had time to uh, post videos so I apologize for that so okay all right so that aside secondly uh, if you're new to the channel here and you like this kind of content please feel free to subscribe to my channel here hit the thumbs up button and then head on over to the bell notifications button and just hit the hell out of that thing for me and that way you get notified every time I upload a new video uh, to my channel here Okay, and there are many, many videos on here. I think there's like 200 videos uh, at this point, something like that. And I cover a uh, wide variety of subject matter. I do product reviews, campsite reviews, uh, campground reviews. Uh, there's also uh, expedition cycling uh, videos on here, camping, uh, cycling, camping videos, so on and so forth, uh, boat restoration videos whole bunch of good stuff so uh, I'd love to have you on board I've got about a thousand subscribers now uh, in fact over a thousand and I would love to have you uh, on board okay all right so all that crap aside all right let's get down to the meat of this uh, video for today all right so what I've got here uh, is the Cabela's six-person West Wind tent okay all right so this is a three season tent and uh, it's pretty cool actually. Uh, it only took me uh, 23 minutes uh, to erect it and, uh, and there was a little bit of wind here uh, in Minneapolis today uh, and I set it up all by myself. Now I am an experienced camper and I have set up, uh, pitched and striked many tents uh, in the past so I do know a little bit about uh, what was going on. So it took me uh, 23 minutes uh, and that's not bad at all uh, for a tent uh, of this size. Okay, so uh, once again, this is a six person uh, tent. And just a quick note there, folks. Uh, notice I said person. Uh, back in the olden days, these things were called six man tent. Well, in an effort to be inclusive to everyone, and I mean everyone, uh, women especially, uh, this is a six person tent. Six people can fit in this tent, not just six men. All right, it's not a six man tent, it's a six person tent, okay? All right, so that's what we've got here. All right, so uh, at any rate, I'm gonna do a uh, couple of videos uh, here on this uh, tent. Uh, one with the uh, tent fully pitched without the rain fly, and then one with the tent fully pitched with the rain fly. And this, folks, as you can see, is obviously the one without the rain fly. All right, cool beans. Okay, so let's get into some stats uh, here first. We'll cover all that and then uh, we will go do a walk around and then we will uh, go inside, okay? All right, so let me get focused on this here again. All right, give you a nice picture to look at. Okay, so uh, once again, the Cabela's six person West Wind tent and the weight of this tent is 22 pounds, 12 ounces, okay? So this is not a tent that you're gonna to want to go backpacking with or hiking, okay? Uh, simply because of the weight there, obviously. Uh, this is a uh, pretty heavy tent. A 22 pound tent is nothing to be logged, uh, lugging around uh, on your back all day, okay? All right, uh, and just quick here, folks, uh, I apologize about the uh, wind noise, okay? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's a little breezy here in Minneapolis today, about a 15 mile per hour west wind, west wind, get it no seriously I know that was cheesy uh, there is a west wind that's about 15 miles per hour so I do apologize for the for the uh, uh, wind noise okay folks all right okay so moving on um, okay so uh, what is the footprint uh, of the Cabela's uh, west wind six-person tent okay so the overall dimensions uh, of the tent without the fly are nine foot six inches by 12 foot okay so that's pretty big so that's the whole width you know the farthest uh width points uh on the tents is uh nine foot six by 12 foot so that's pretty good size six person 
you know, it has to be pretty good size. Um, with the Rainfly, this tent gets remarkably larger, okay? With that Rainfly right there, okay? With that Rainfly, the total length of the whole thing becomes 15 foot 3 by 12 foot, okay? It's still the same width, but it grows quite a bit. There's a huge uh, vestibule on here, okay? Very big vestibule. That's that area right there for those that are curious or don't know. Uh, that is the vestibule, okay? All right. So, uh, significantly bigger. Um, so, the uh, footprint, the overall footprint of the uh, vestibule is 5 foot 9 by 5 foot 6, and it is uh, 4 foot 11 inches tall. So, that is a big vestibule. Uh, in fact, you could even uh, put another uh, person in in the vestibule, uh, you know, sleep someone in there. Uh, I'm talking about spring or fall, you know, when the bugs aren't going to really be an issue. Um, there's plenty of room in there. Uh, plenty of room for a bicycle, plenty of room for lots of packs, coolers, you know, things like that. It's a huge uh, vestibule. So, and you will see more of the vestibule uh, in detail uh, in my uh, next video. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to do at least uh, two videos uh, on this tent. In fact, there will be three. Uh, one without the rainfly, one with the rainfly, and then uh, I will do a video uh, after I use this tent and give you guys uh, my overall impression of the tent after about two weeks uh, worth of use here coming up uh, in mid-July, okay? All right, so getting back to the stats. Okay, as I mentioned, the vestibule uh, footprint is 5'9 by 5'6 and 4'11 tall. Uh, this is uh, the tent material uh, composition is 75 denier polyester taffeta. Uh, it's not the thickest material out there, uh, but it's not also chintzy cheap stuff. Uh, 75 denier is pretty good. Um, denier, denier, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, and the tent also comes with fiberglass poles. My only beef uh, with the fiberglass poles uh, on this tent is that they're uh, so thin they're so small um, and it's not the big you know it's a six person tent so you'd figure that uh, this uh, particular tent would have like the uh, big like I don't know half inch thick fiberglass poles you guys know what I'm talking about but it doesn't have those it has these chintzy uh, chintzy small ones uh, and uh, I will get into that uh, I'll show you those uh, a little more in detail when I do a walk around if I remember okay then there's one other uh, issue uh, with the tent poles uh, for this uh, Cabela's uh, six-person West Wind tent and that will be covered in another video here you'll see and that is exclusively about the poles and boy is that a frustrating situation I'm talking about the shock cording uh, that goes inside the poles there and how chintzy cheap that is and the problems I've had with two Cabela's tents but that'll be in another uh, video, and that is the only other problem that I have with the tent poles on this tent, okay? All right, so getting back to, let's back out. Okay, so I mentioned to get fiberglass poles. Um, the floor of this tent uh, has a uh, uh, 1500 millimeter uh, polyethylene coating. Um, that's pretty good. Um, by comparison, the uh, six-person Alaskan Guide uh, Cabela's tent that you see also on this channel, um, that floor was a lot thicker, but that is also a four-season tent. Um, but the floor on this tent uh, is pretty good, and I suspect it's going to hold up to uh, you know water uh, pretty well, but we'll see after I use it here in a couple weeks. So, all right. Okay, so that is... Uh, basically the stats, the physical stats of the tent. Um, some more features, however, of this tent. Um, you get large no uh nylon mesh walls, and they are uh, big. I will go over that a little bit when we uh, do the walk around video. Um, they're all around the tent, huge uh, no uh, walls, uh, and it's great for ventilation. Um, right now, today in, in Minneapolis, it's almost 90 degrees. And uh, I'll tell you, I was inside the tent uh, already, and you don't feel the heat. You do not feel the heat. There's a lot of wind blowing through that tent. 
and it's uh, due in large part to the uh, large mesh walls. Okay, all right. So uh, you also get a hanging entertainment system. Uh, I'm not big on that type of stuff. Uh, kids are. Uh, kids will enjoy that feature uh, in this tent. Um, it's also gear loft. I am a gear loft fan. I like to put uh, lofts up and I like to throw a lot of stuff up there like hats, gloves, small flashlights, stuff like that. Um, there's three mesh pockets. I only found two. Um, I don't know if it's referring to the uh, gear loft as a uh, pocket, but I was only able to find uh, two uh, mesh pockets in this tent. So um, with this tent, uh, you get 22 steel stakes and there's 11 tie downs. Uh, tie downs are important, uh, very important. Um, uh, in windy conditions, you're out there camping, you want to uh, have a tent that's really stable and tough. Uh, and so the more tie downs you have, the better in this uh, tent. Uh, leaves nothing to be desired there, has 11 tie downs. And the tarp additionally also has uh, uh, tie downs on it so but I'll do that in another video uh, for you guys I'll show you that so um, you get a repair kit with this tent and obviously a carry bag okay all right so enough about the stats on this tent let's go do a walk around this is what I'm really excited to show you show you the tent in detail and once again I apologize for the wind it is a little breezy here in Minneapolis today in July so Okay, the center height, I don't know if I covered that folks, but the center height is six foot three. Uh, plenty of room in there uh, for most people uh, to stand, stretch, whatever. Uh, there's plenty of room in that tent to stand up and stuff. Six foot three center. So that combined with the overall uh, dimension of the tent, uh, it's big for a lot of people. So that's fantastic. Okay, this tent has one door and uh, has the large uh, D-style uh, window there in front of it. Um, and I'll tell you a little something interesting about the windows once we get inside, okay? That's kind of weird, actually. But uh, yeah, so at any rate, there's uh, one door, right? Here's those large mesh walls I was telling you guys about. Okay, huge mesh walls. And this goes all over, the, there's many of them on this tent, okay? They're big, okay? All right, so the dimensions here, all right, these walls are all five foot nine. All right, they're all five foot nine inches all the way around. Okay, that's the dimension of those. So if you got short people you're going to be camping with, put them in their sleeping bags. Go this way, just one, two, three, all the way across. But uh, five foot nine is the width of the wall there. So, and there's that funny looking dome at the top there. Looks kind of goofy. <laughs> I think there's seven stake points on this uh, as it's standing, freestanding. There's seven stake points. <laughs> so just walking around here. So there you can kind of see the dome. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks, just looks goofy. <laughs> All right. And then let's uh, show you the poles here. This is what I'm talking about. These things are like 3 eighths inch guessing three eighths inch thick I would much prefer uh, on a tent of this nature um, for a large uh, group of people uh, that's this big catches a lot of wind I would much prefer it to be the larger ones I don't know if they're half inch diameter poles or whatever they are but uh, it would be great to have thicker poles uh, on this tent so all right, so let's go inside the Cabela's six-person West Wind tent. Okay, so the zippers on this are, uh, you know, they suffice. They do a pretty good job. Uh, they're not the really super heavy-duty uh, zippers that you get on the Alaskan Guide tent, uh, but they uh, obviously suffice, and they move real smooth. They don't catch or anything like that. So we'll step inside and close the door. Okay guys, welcome to the Cabela's six person West Wind Tent. We're inside. Okay, and here's the five foot nine I was telling you about. Okay. Mesh pocket there. Mesh pocket there. And then the only other one that I can see they might be referring to would be the one that goes up here, would be the gear loft and fastens to these uh, these nylon fasteners here. So I don't know, maybe that's what they're referring to. I don't know. But there's only two pockets. 
that I'm able to uh, discern. So um, there again is the large mesh walls. Okay, really nice size. Okay, and the windows. All right, so what I want to touch on the windows. Okay, so there's this one and this one on the door. Okay, all right, so let's start with this one back here. All right, so uh, a very common feature on tents is to have these tie downs. So, for instance, when you roll this flap down that's on the window, um, you have a way of keeping the window flap um, secure. Okay, and you can see there's one there. All right, got these great little fittings on here, if you will. All right, you just roll the, uh, you just roll it down, and uh, you got a place to uh, store that flap. Not so on the door. Go figure that one. I don't know why. Okay, not so. None whatsoever. None. Okay. <laughs> so you just roll it down, and it stays there. Okay, that type of thing. So, uh, one thing that I find uh, really cool uh, about the uh, front and back uh, walls, I'm talking about the door here, and this, uh, this would be considered the back, officially, back wall, is, see the distance from the floor to the where the window starts? Um, oftentimes in the summer months you're camping and you know it's morning and sun's coming up and you want to roll those windows all the way down and but you still want privacy right so uh, you've got what I would guess is about let's say 14 to 18 inches there uh, of privacy space where there's uh, obviously you can't see through that so you could be laying in here right and uh, have the window all the way opened um, now you've got these that go down much further that's only about a foot distance there but that's the side okay that's all on, on the sides uh the front which faces people generally or the back uh is where uh, people would be seeing and they wouldn't be able to see you uh laying in here in your skivvies or whatever uh there's a, a degree of privacy there um for you i like that i like the windows uh on a tent like this uh to be up off the floor uh, quite a bit. So that's a great great thing Okay, so uh, The floor in this tent um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. I think I did the uh, floor here is uh, You know, it seems like it's uh, You know, it's got that uh, 1500 millimeter um, coating on there. I told you It's not the Alaskan guide tent the four season. Okay, uh, which has got a really thick floor uh, almost feels rubbery Okay, but this floor here it's like a regular tent floor. Uh, I'd say maybe a smidgen more, uh, but uh, it's kind of thick, you know. But uh, as I said earlier, I think I think it is going to hold up to water uh, pretty well. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, but the floor is uh, it doesn't feel real thick, but it feels all right. So um, I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to purchase one to find out, right? Just kidding. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so uh, that's your floor. I uh, can't really feel any rubber stuff like it can on my other tent, my other Cabela's tent, but I'm sure this will suffice. So um, so at any rate, that is the interior. Let me step back outside real quick here. <laughs> okay, it features already are the huge mesh walls and these easy flow zippers, okay? I also like the color, okay? Orange is like my favorite color. All right, and for those of you that uh, subscribers, especially have seen a lot of my other videos, um, I've got a couple of toys, power toys. I've got a uh, new quad, new four-wheeler ATV, and I've got a sled, and they're all orange. <laughs> so, do I like orange? Yes. So, do I like the orange-colored uh, uh, straps and tie downs and stuff on this? Yes, I like that. So, is that a reason to buy or not to buy no but it's just one of those extra little things so at any rate that pretty much does it all right i want to thank you guys for bearing with me in the wind today um and sticking with me throughout the length of this uh video it's almost 20 minutes here um i hope you like this tent and if you like it hope you purchase one and enjoy it with your family 
Um, and if you like this kind of content, once again, folks, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And we will see you in the next video. And like I said, there will be a couple videos, uh, at least two, uh, at least three rather, uh, videos on this tent. So look for those on here as well if you want more information on this tent. I like this tent so far and I'm looking forward to using it this summer. All right, live from Minneapolis. We'll see you in my next video.